back for the third match with it, this variant of Is It Prowess as a friendly reminder. If you do like modern content, especially of the red based variety, please consider subscribing to the channel as we need to be the most informative modern channel on YouTube. So yeah, it's pretty good. We got the Soul Scar Mage and the Sprite Dragon with some spells to follow up. Uh, hopefully we're not playing against Bogles again. That was a little, little, little rough. Could just fetch Mountain, but generally, whenever you're playing uh, Prowess, you, you're, you're obviously giving away quite a bit of information whenever you're uh, playing Soul Scarmage that you're on Prowess as opposed to something like Burn. So, not quite sure what's going on over there. Lean off on this because they could have force of negation here. I'd rather them counter this than Manamorphose because if they. Counter Metamorphose, then um, with Force of Negation or something. Let's see. Uh, currently sitting on 10 damage. Pretty sure this is lethal now. Yep. Good old turn three kill against four color control. Um, <laughs> probably bring in a couple of spell pierces. Don't know that we really mess with something like cleansing wildfire. Could bring in bedlam reveler, but against the four color control deck eh, how likely is a turn four turn five spell or resolve i'm not supposed to cut here a couple ops maybe is filler once again pretty decent opening hand one drop into two drop more on the draw though and we do have three lanes this time so more likely to flood out but looks like this is going to die to something Fetching the Trium. It's probably going to get Helix next turn. Sure. Puts us in a bit of an awkward spot. Like maybe we're supposed to wait there. They have path, it's whatever. I screwed up by mistapping there. If they have path though, it really doesn't particularly matter. I 
Oh, I just have Gust. Uh, I guess we bought him that for now. Probably should have topped that. Yeah, we needed the threat. We should have topped it. turn Could have spell pierced and lava darted to save that, but that just feels like it's not landing us anywhere. time we could use that mutagenic growth they'll just have something to kill it with bolt or something Definitely punted this game about five different ways. <laughs> uh... Me wonder if they just drew that path or if they've been chilling on that path for a little while in case we went for a big turn. Yep, nothing we can do about that. I mean, we've gone through a lot of cards, don't get me wrong, but...
mean, I guess we're still theoretically in this game if we draw like Bedlam Reveler and somehow it resolves, but I just don't see it. Oh, okay. Well, we can we can safely move on. <laughs> the uh, tokens are going to get us before we can do anything meaningful. Alright, definitely want the Bedlam Reveler, even if I don't want it per se. Hands fine, a little bit awkward, but fine. Bedlam Roller, obviously, a bit of an awkward card and some opening hands, so. Force of negation? Fortunately, no. Tower reinforcements would be like mildly annoying here. block or something. Could punch in for more damage there, put them to four. But Bedlam Reveler is a consideration here, so it's kind of like, do I really want to be doing that? Is this a Renin 6? EE -E on 2. Okay. another land drop
component to two. All right, and we got there. A lot of punts in there. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of punts in there. <laughs> but we're able to get away with a win. So nice. But game two definitely need to go back and redo some things because that was that was just bad. <laughs> anyway, see you tomorrow for another match.